Hey everyone, how's it going? Puntastic77 here, coming to you with some Team Fortress 2. Hope you're doing well. These are just a few random clips from Cactus Canyon. Decided to hop on, see how the old girl was doing, and uh, yeah, she's still doing pretty well here. Um, so yeah, in these two first clips here, you're going to be seeing me play as the Heavy with the Sandwich, the Medigun, and the Fist of Steel. The second clip, I believe, is going to be me playing as the Double Dunk Demo Man, just because... Uh, Someone started headshotting me a lot, and they got a nomination on me as a heavy in the next round here. And I don't show that in this video here, but that forced me to go and play Demo Man. And I'll go through the train of thought why I decided to switch classes, even though I was like, you know what, I want to play heavy today. So, we won this round, spoiler alert, and uh, we did it in a pretty great fashion. So I'm like, okay, let's do it in the next round here. And the sniper just keeps picking me off three, four times, getting a domination. And he's picking off my teammates left and right. And you can see in the chat, oh my god, this guy's so good. This guy's awesome. And I'm like, he's not really that good, or she's not really that good. Come on, guys, just play a little bit better. You won't get killed by them. So, again, they keep getting more headshots on the people, killing me, killing the other people. I'm like, it's not that hard. One, push the cart. Two, don't go in their line of sight. I was like, okay, watch, I'll show you guys. And you'll see later on how I deal with that. But I basically switch to the demo man, kind of flank around them, and you'll see what happens in a little bit. But, but that's basically what I wanted to talk about is the fact that I'm a sore loser. Now, we didn't lose these two rounds, and that's why I decided to show them. But the fact that I was losing, I was getting heated. Heated at myself, heated at my teammates. I even unmuted people, which I just started muting people because I realized that I talk too much in game and I try and get people to talk back or to communicate or whatever. And it's just not worth it in pubs. It's not worth it to like look for a response. And I'm not looking for a response. I'm just saying I want people to communicate. And if I say there's a spy there, I'd appreciate the same thing. Or there's a pyro sneaking around with a back burner. You should go get him. So second round, I unmuted my uh, microphone. Basically wanted to tell my teammates to buck up and that the sniper who was killing us, not really that good. So, <laughs> when it comes to being a sore loser, I am a sore loser about everything. I mean, even like card games, board games, video games of all kinds, even like a single player game where I'm playing by myself, I get heated. The only game where I don't think I get really mad at is like a like an RPG kind of game like Skyrim or the Fallout series where if I die it doesn't happen that much but when it does I'm like oh you know maybe it was something you know worth it or the, the reason basically I don't like dying when I don't feel like it's my fault if it's my fault I get even angrier but if it's not my fault uh, <laughs> and I kind of mask the whole not my fault thing under Oh, they got lucky. They got lucky. You can see here, uh, taking out that sniper dominated me. Really easy. Just get behind him. He's not that good. I literally just kept saying that to my teammates. And no disrespect to the person who that was. Uh, I don't know what their name was. I'm not going to read it. Uh, but, hey, good, good job. You got some headshots, and I got you back. <laughs> but this isn't about them. It's about being a sore loser. And at the end, not being a sore loser. And how to combat being a sore loser. Now, good things and bad things about being a sore loser. One... I think it's the sign of a competitive person. Two, it's the sign of a not humble person, someone who has bad sportsmanship. So let's talk about that. So recently I was in a Uber, which is a uh, like a taxi kind of system, but it's a little bit cheaper and it's like random people pick you up. But beside the point, I was talking to the guy and he had a really nice car and a uh, really athletic guy. He looked like an athletic guy. And I was like, hey man, what's your story? Because I like to talk to the uh, Uber and Lyft drivers of the those are the two companies I use, and, uh, you know, like, what's your story, man? He's like, oh, well, you know, I played college basketball Division One. I. I got drafted in the NBA, and uh, I played about a year, two years, and uh, I, you know, uh, tore my MCL, which is in your knees, and I was just devastated to hear that. I mean, this guy, really nice guy, had a lot of potential, it seemed like, and, uh, you know, I was asking him, so what was the NBA like? Like, what was playing, you know, on a professional sports team? Like, it was awesome. It was, like, the best time of my life. But I got to see the dark side of my heroes. And he's like, what? What, what do you mean by that? So he played with Michael Jordan. Not, full, like, teammates with him, but Michael Jordan is the owner of the Charlotte Bobcats, or at the time he was. 
and uh you know he's like oh he was the owner and he was really cocky about everything and you know it's kind of weird to see your heroes become these cocky people and he said he was competitive about everything you know whether it was handling business with the players on the court with like the management with other people like he told me exactly this he said he wants you to know that he's better than you and he'll do anything to prove that even though he's got all the money in the world he's still athletic as hell even though he's like 50 years old he wants people to know that he's better than you and that to me is a sign of a really cocky sore loser but in the end, you look at it, it's Michael Jordan. I mean, greatest basketball greatest basketball player of all time when you think about it. And you can argue about that, but I'm not going to because it's a futile argument. Basically, that's what I want to talk about in this video is, are you a sore loser? Do you think a sore loser makes you a champion? Do you think it makes you just a douchebag? Let me know what you think here. The train's coming, so I gotta go catch this train. And yeah, uh, 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 okay, well, the train's gonna be here in a little bit, so I might as well uh, catch you all later. <laughs> Alright, bye.